The small island nation of Tonga remains cut off from the rest of the world two days after a massive volcano eruption and then tsunami. This eruption captured on satellites shows ash, gas, and steam more than 12 miles high. And the underwater volcano erupted about 40 miles north of Tonga's mainland, an island in the South Pacific Ocean just north of New Zealand. Hours after that eruption, a tsunami with waves up to four feet high left people scrambling to find higher ground. And it also severed communication lines, leaving Tongans anxiously waiting for news of their loved ones, including Olympian Pita Tofatafua, who is joining us live tonight. Pita, uh, always good to talk to you. The last time we spoke, you were preparing for the winter and the summer Olympics, much different situation we're dealing with tonight. So what more have you learned about the extent of the damage right now in Tonga? Uh, so firstly, thank you for having me. It's, um, there's, there's minimal communication with Tonga. All there is at the moment is a couple of satellite phones that allow us to access uh, bits of information coming out of Tonga. So I, I actually haven't heard from my father. I haven't heard from any of my relatives. I don't know what damage has uh, happened to, um, what, the, what the full extent of the damage is at this moment. Right, your father is a governor there. So do you have any idea or expect when communication will be restored? Are you hearing anything um, in terms of the process? Yeah, so what we've heard is that the, the major submarine cable that serves Tonga and, and a lot of the Pacific has been severed in two positions, one being near the volcano. And one of the challenges is, is that the, the ship that can fix that is over in Papua New Guinea. So we're, we're talking about a week away before we can get communication. And the volcano is still active. There's still, uh, there's still the, the chance that the actual volcano, that more, uh, there could be more volcanic activity. So it's a very dangerous situation as well for, for ships and for planes to uh, to get close to the country. Well, and, and we're talking about just a catastrophic event, but Tonga sits along the Pacific Ring of Fire. It is prone to earthquakes, tsunamis also common. Mm -hmm. uh, this nation is prepared for these types of events. So walk us through some of the things that are in place that you know of having, having lived there, this is your home, to mitigate this type of, of damage and destruction in these events. So we, so Tonga gets hit uh, quite often by cyclones uh, with uh, climate change and, and this sort of thing. So there are, there was some level of a warning system in place when this, uh, before the tsunami hit. So people were already starting to head to higher ground uh, as the ash was falling. So what this meant was that it was, it was a, a somewhat of, somewhat safer for the people that were heading to higher ground. But that being said, there isn't much higher ground in Tonga. So a lot of the footage has come out of Nukualofa, where, so the center of, you know, the, the biggest island, and that's four or five meters above sea level. Some of the islands are uh, under a meter above sea level. And we haven't been able to get in contact with some of these islands. Mm. How concerned are you right now, knowing the topography, knowing the risk, knowing what you see on radar, what happened? Uh, I'm I'm worried for I'm worried for all of the Tongan people. The it's very difficult. There's Tongans all over the world. There's people all over the world. It's only now just starting to get out to you know to the rest of the world what uh, what a tragedy this is and and um, so we're worried. I, I can't be focused too much on on how my father is or how my family is because many people are going through this exact same process at the moment. I'm here right now. I'm actually here with uh, UNICEF. We're getting ready to send our first shipment across with UNICEF and the Australian government of, uh, of aid across the Tonga. I've set up a GoFundMe to help try and raise money uh, for when when the communication opens to to make sure that we can uh, we can meet the needs that are inevitably going to be quite high. Yeah, I know, Peter. there's a lot of people who are gonna wanna be helping uh, given what we're seeing there on the screen uh, and your big heart to do what you can for your nation. Uh, most Tongans, as you know, get their food, their livelihood from the ocean that is around them. It is their source. Uh, we're hearing reports of acid rain in the area, potential damage to the environment, the coral reef, uh, the coastline, the fisheries. So how does a nation like this rebound from something like that? I know that's a few steps forward, but that has to be part of the thought process. I think so. The Tongans are the most resilient people you'll ever met. You know, we from uh, from dust we came and from the ashes we will rise. 
the first thing and some of the work that I'm doing and many around the world, many Tongans around the world are doing, is we're trying to bring awareness. We're trying to say, um, say to the world, we need your help. Communication, everything has been cut off. We need your help. When communication comes back on, there's going to be a country that needs the assistance of, uh, of many great nations. So I'm worried, but I, I have to put my worry aside. And, and, and now's the time to work. And now's the time to, to push forward and to do what we can being, uh, being not in Tonga at the moment. Well, we are here, we are listening, and we will partner with you. So uh, when you have more information to share, uh, make sure to come back on and give us an update. Pita Tofa Tufua, uh, thank you for everything you're doing, and our thoughts are with you and your family as uh, that nation deals with this tragedy. Thank you so much for, uh, for having me, and thank you to everyone who's listening. And uh, Tonga, Tonga needs your help, but we appreciate all the help that everyone is giving. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.